All right, hello, my name is Mr. Wise Guy. Welcome to episode 10 plus 6. 10 plus 6. So we got, no, that's, yeah, 6. Yeah, you can see it? Nice, great, awesome. Uh, today we're going to be doing, um, this episode is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be streaming it, so, or some of it, or most of it, I'm not sure. But, uh, all right, so I got some notes. Let me show, let me show these notes. All right, so this button, thank you. So I got so I got a little little note tag right here, note tag, uh, notepad, and uh, basically what we're gonna be doing is roads. We're gonna we're gonna automate aluminum. That's the next thing. The next thing after that is the we're gonna make a new main base based on the tier five belt system, which is the last belts that we can get so far in the game. The game's early access, so there might be higher tiered belts that might be coming into the game later on. But I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I have no knowledge of that. I also remember to uh, like and subscribe. Comments are great too. Right over there. Yeah, thanks. But uh, um, and then the last, the very last thing is starting new train blueprints because I, I want to make new roads right now, right? And and so far I've done a little bit of work on them. They look kind of cool. Uh, we're gonna open up the game like right now. Oh, crap. One other thing, one other thing I just remembered. As soon as I came into the game, I just remembered what else we have here. So I also need to add um, new roads, uh, automate aluminum, but I might need to do something before automating aluminum, which is power. We need more power. And I was scoping out a, uh, as you can see in the location that I'm at, I'm in this weird swampy location never been here before also the developers are going to be i think they're going to be changing this the way that this place looks oh wait not in this oh maybe they already did yeah they already changed the way this place looks so i think this is the final form of this location but basically um developers had uh, a plan to um to change a bunch of the map so i don't want to build in places where the, they're going to be they're planning on completely like reworking and stuff like that so uh, but we need power, uh, specifically gas power, because uh, that's the highest power that I have right now unlocked. Also, oh, also, a bunch of things that we did. I need to tell you, we've done a, we've done, bun we've done a bunch. I've done a bunch of stuff. So the things that we did, these are the things that we got to do right now, right here, and new roads, gas power, automated aluminum. Or we might, we might skip gas power, but I think I think that's a bad idea because aluminum is going to require a lot of power. And then we're going to do the new main the new main base storage system because the new blueprints I won't be able to utilize them to the max potential because I'm going to be I'm going to need a, a ginormous amount of parts because like I'm making everything look nice and uh, and detailed. But uh, we've done a lot, so we've made a new place. We're making space elevator parts. We finished that. I've completely finished space elevator parts. We've unlocked the new locate, uh, the new stuff that comes with space elevator parts. This place looks amazing. I look at the water and underneath the water, it just looks beautiful. The developer did a really good job at this location. Oh, look at this. This brings back memories. We got the old coal powered plant. My first ever major project. We got batteries. We got everything on here. And it's still in operation too. Look at that. First ever major operation using so much water too. Produces such little energy compared to my to the other gas power plant that I made. The newer upgraded version, but coal coal like damn. We're still using tier one miners on this one too. We could upgrade this location if we really wanted to, but I don't feel like doing it. It's not worth the time and effort. Not right now. Oh yeah, red in this location and green on that way. I don't know. It did, I thought it looked cool. Got tons and tons of water. The way that I set everything up here, I like it. I like it a lot. 
Oh, I should put lights here. Yeah. And how everything is supported with these columns. It looks cool. This looks really cool. I like it a lot. Oh, I didn't have those. Oh, well. I'm not going to bother with that right now. It's time to get back to the base. And this is the beginning of my road. These are the old roads, by the way. I made some new ones. They look kind of cool. Actually, I can show you right now. Now, these are the roads that I've made. Look at that. Look at this. Uses way more parts. But these are larger, and they're actually separated physically, which is nice. And we're finally getting that neon uh, thing that I wanted to get with the lights. That's why I'm saying, that's why it's going to require a lot of extra parts. Like these, these things right here, metal plates, it's also going to require crystals because of these and now rods also concrete but this is like a four by four four by four concrete layout so it's even more concrete than the the normal roads also i don't think i'm gonna replace i might re end up replacing them but we're not gonna be over here for much longer like this location is gonna stay keep producing energy but uh let me show you why we probably will need to focus on energy first before aluminum and uh as you can see <laughs> We are, uh, the only reason we have an inconsistency with the, how much power, this is our potential, right? That's, that's insane. 25,000 megawatts. We're producing around 16,000, 17,000 megawatts. And what we're consuming right now consistently is 11,000 megawatts, which is really, really high numbers. You're probably wondering where the heck am I, like, where am I using all that stuff? Um, a lot of the energy actually... Not gonna lie, a lot of the energy, a lot of the energy is being produced right here on the water, but a lot of it's being used over here for space elevator parts. And we're gonna be, as you can see, these are the parts that we have to make now. I made the other parts and they're just endlessly being automated and thrown into this thing. But we're gonna be moving. This base is like a storage making base and we have a storage hub basically throws uh, stuff everywhere. So I'm thinking of making a new storage look, a new upgraded version of the storage location. Actually, that's that's literally what I want to do, but I have to, I want to use tier five belts. So what we're going to do is get tier five belts. Well, tier five belts requires aluminum, right? So we're going to get tier five. We're gonna have, we have to um, somewhat automate aluminum. That's why I wanted to do aluminum first. And as soon as we do, as soon as we get aluminum up and running, we don't have to mass produce it, but just get it to the point to where it actually like, we can make a bunch of tier five belts, which I already have unlocked because I decided to do a little cheat with the awesome shop and the tickets. I have a ton of tickets and uh, we got parts and uh, tier five belts. Technically use these uh, Alclad aluminum sheets or whatever. It's like an, it's uh, basically aluminum and uh, copper. It's a, it's a, it's an alloy. That's what that is. Yeah, it's an alloy. Just like how steel is an alloy. Yeah, this place is not even, this place needs to be upgraded, but I, I think I just realized that I'm not going to upgrade this place. This place is going to keep doing its thing and it's going to keep making the parts that it needs to make. I think I'm basically officially done with this location. We got all of these things doing their thing. And we can just keep plopping more of these in another in a new location. Um, all right, so I think everything's running perfectly now. 20 megawatts, yes, that's a nice little cushion of power right there. Nice little cushion. Actually, that might be. I I might I think I could just start with the aluminum process. So we could, all right, well, first let's just make sure that we actually can sustain this power by checking to see how many refineries are up and running. If all of them are running, then that might be a big problem. If one or two are not running, then we're in the most ideal situations.
No. That was weird. Everything just turned on automatically. That's that's super weird. Yeah, we're good. We're good with turbo fuel. That's good. Nice. I don't have to worry about that. All right, sweet. So gas is done. Now, I think what I want to do. So. What I kind of want to do is skip over more gas power and just go straight to uh, automating aluminum. As a, I want tier five belts and that's going to require aluminum. I still haven't worked out all the logistics and how I want to do this because I need bauxite. And you need to turn bauxite into... you got to throw it into a refinery with water. So I need to build that place uh, close to a location with a lot of water. Which, and we got a lot of water over there. Um, I think I'm going to max out the amount that I could produce. So 600 per minute. I'm going to just buy a bunch of tier 5 belt uh, parts. There's more bauxite around here though. We're going to find the locations. Kali Gold says... Are you using alt recipes or all standard? Alt recipes. Oh wait, I think this is one of the locations that they're going to be redoing. Right? So I shouldn't build over here, but I need bauxite. There might be spiders up here, which is literally the bane of my existence in this game. This thing is like absorbing all of my attacks. Ah, oh, nice little f like 10 second save. There we go. This thing's a tank. Why are you eating all of my bullets? There we go. There we go. Perfect. And this is pure. Nice. Alright. The only thing I use power shards in is the, the mining things. Because, like, it just does it infinitely. So there's no reason not to up max them out as possible. Like, put them as high as possible. I'm going to need a tier 5 belt for that. Yeah. I can run a belt all the way down here and then bring it over here. Um, there has to be a nice way. Oh, this location right here. Destroy all those things. Have a road just go right up to here. And then everything can just wiggle room uh, spaghetti itself down into this location. That's where all the irons uh all this box is gonna go to i think yeah let's try something like that okay all right so what i'm thinking is we're gonna make i'm gonna make because <laughs> we got a lot of water here right and all right let me show you the recipe and how this is gonna how this is gonna work so we're gonna need refineries we're gonna need refineries to turn this aluminum, uh, this bauxite into, well, a lot of water and a lot of bauxite into basically a liquid version of aluminum, I guess, and then my uh, cilia. So we could just sink all the cilia because we're not gonna be using it for anything. Um, yeah, we'll sink it for now. And then after we turn that stuff into whatever, to that stuff, we're gonna, um, we have to use this other recipe. Aluminum scrap. Send it back into another refinery. To 
Oh, wow. Wait a second. Oh, so we need coal too? I didn't know that. But it produces water? Hold up. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know it produced the water. So we could just recycle this stuff. Uh, 180. Uh, 171. So we got six. So all we need is 60 per minute water going into the system. Yeah. And as soon as it gets filled up. Yeah, all we need is 60. Okay, so we don't need a lot of water. All right. 360 per minute aluminum scrap. And then the scrap goes into something else. This thing? Uh, no. Ingots, ingots. Oh, ingots. Oh, so we do need these furnaces, these things. No, we do not. Boundary. Aluminum ingot. Aluminum scrap and... Oh! Really? <laughs> These numbers are weird. 75 of that? So we need 9... Oh, damn. Oh, man. That's gonna... That's gonna... There's so many processes. There's no way I can do the ratio of how much I need. Because we... It turns... Okay. Alright. Alright, so what I'm thinking is that... We're gonna make a base, but it's gonna be it's gonna be connected to this cliff somehow. And it's gonna go off because we got all the water down there. And we can just have it float, almost float, but it'll be connected to this uh this ridge somehow. This is very I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. Road is gonna come over here, it's gonna go right there, and then we're gonna have all the the quartz, the iron ingots, I mean the, the copper ingots, because we got to smelt those two things together, right? Requires, uh... No. Oh, I know what recipe that... Okay, alright. Assembler? I think it's the assembler, right? Yeah, this stuff. This requires aluminum ingot and copper ink. I don't get it. What? I don't understand this. This is supposed to be an alloy, so you're supposed to smelt them together, but it's in a assembler instead of a instead of a um a, ref, a foundry. It should this should be in the foundry. It's aluminum like you're not squishing aluminum ingots in together. All right. Well, I'm going to get some food. So, I'm going to be done. I mean, I'm going to be done. I am done. Time for me to delete the stream. Thanks for watching. This is not the end of the episode. This is only the end of a uh, freaking stream. So, yeah. Don't get confused when I'm editing. <laughs> telling myself, telling my future self that right now. So, uh, yeah. All right. Okay, my friends. Uh, I'm back. A little sick, so my voice is a bit off. But uh, I am back. And uh, we've done a lot. Um, we've, done, we've done too much, actually. So much that uh, episode is over. That's it. We're done. I'm only going to get you to run now. We got some water. This is all for the aluminum plant. So we've made water. We've got pipes coming in nice and smooth. Let's get the big screen going. Yeah, uh, or up here. Yeah. Also got a new uh, frame. I did some stuff with OBS, made my picture frame just a little bit bigger. I kind of wanted that. But anyways, we got everything that we need. We're making the uh, alkyde sheets. Alkyde sheets or whatever, you, however you pronounce it. These things. Then we got... Um, we're exporting those and these, and we're gonna show you how we're doing it because this is honestly like have it, the way that I did this is so legit. It's amazing. I love it. I spent way too much time on this. Um, I am actually not gonna show you how much time has passed because uh, I did way too much. Um, I'm only showing you the end part of this. This is like very far in the future me right now that I'm splicing into the end of the previous episode. Uh, we got quartz. We got, we got export, importing quartz or importing copper ingots. I guess I'll show you this. We also got the hover, the hover pack. It's like the only way to get up and down this place. It's nice. But yeah, we got all this stuff being made. We got trucks coming in, doing their thing. Um, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit wonky. But the trucks, they get, they get here. 
They do it eventually. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. Nice. All right. So all the magic. We got all the water coming up the sides. I think this is a beautiful way of doing it. You, oh, wait. No, don't do that. The range on this electrical uh, hover pack is kind of annoying. But anyways. Um, yeah, it, I think I th even though it's kind of off grid, off the, the way that I had the roads, it still works. It still works. Looks pretty good. So onto the spaghetti. Hmm. Got the exported goods coming out over here from the left. I mean, from the right. Got bauxite coming down, doing its thing. It looks amazing. I think it looks beautiful. Got all the aluminum stuff going in, raw resources going into the smelters. That makes the aluminum solution. It's good stuff. And we also got all the assemblers. Got a whole giant thing of everything. Everything's being processed. Everything's cool. Everything's being made. So it, it's kind of, there's a lot of recycling going on in this because it makes silica and we need the silica to turn this scrap into aluminum ingots, which is kind of cool. Everything works. It's on a five belt tier system. Um, we're gonna go right here. I have the urge to cough every two seconds. Anyways, before we uh, do any of that, uh, remember to uh, like, subscribe, comments are great too. Thank you very much.